Hi, everybody. We're here with Busy, Smart, and Strong today with Dr. Justin Phillip of Chandler on South Gilbert Road in Chandler. And I'm here for a very important reason, and it's your teeth and your mouth and your breath. Dr. Phillip, I'm really interested to know, as are a lot of people, are electric toothbrushes, the electric gizmos, things like that, really better to use because they're everywhere these days. They are fabulous for removing plaque, which of course is the cause of all the problems in our mouth. You gotta get rid of the bacteria. A good electric toothbrush will actually vibrate at about 30,000 strokes per minute. So you can see how that's significantly better than what you could do with your hand. So definitely these days, dentists do recommend that you get an electric toothbrush. Oh, definitely. We recommend it for everybody. It used to just be for people who had problems, but now even people who have really healthy mouths, it's just better to have the electric. It gets rid of the bacteria better. Some of them are quite expensive, and but then there are some that you know you can just buy at the drugstore that don't really cost all that much. Is there a difference, and should we choose one over the other? There is a difference. Thank you for asking. Yeah, the more expensive electric toothbrushes like the Sonicare or the high-end Oral-Bs, those are the ones you really want. Uh, with the electric toothbrushes, you really get what you pay for. So the, the more you spend, you're going to get a better brush, and a better brush means better clean teeth. How can we avoid bad breath, and what can we do about it if we have it? Okay, well, there's a couple of things going on with bad breath. Uh, unfortunately, it can be more than just a distraction in your social life. Bad breath can actually be the sign of a serious medical condition called periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is a bacterial infection of the jawbone and the gums that hold your teeth in. And if you leave it untreated, it'll actually cause you to lose all of your teeth. It's also been linked to stroke, heart disease, diabetes, preterm birth, and even breast cancer. Oh my goodness, who would think that your what's going on in your mouth could affect your whole body? I know, and what's scarier is the National Institute of Health just released a study stating one in two adult Americans has periodontal disease. How do we combat bad breath that maybe just comes from that Italian dinner? Well, for those kind of issues, it's it's all about oral hygiene. It's brushing twice a day, flossing once a day, using a non-alcohol mouthwash, and of course coming in for your cleanings every six months, seeing a highly trained and skilled team of dental professionals like the ones in our office to help clean that up and prevent those kind of issues from happening. So if I've gone out to dinner though and I've had the, the garlic bread and um, the spaghetti and meatballs and um, dessert with a big cup of black coffee which i think gives people terrible breath and i'm on a date what can i do to find out first if i have bad breath and is there anything i can do to combat it right then and there sure you're right a lot of those things you just said will cause bad breath the coffees the teas the garlics the spices all of those things um, to find out if you have, eat or drink those things you're going to have bad breath so you kind of already know that but if you want to check your breath um, the couple of things some people kind of breathe into their hand mm -hmm. some people will lick the back of their hand and smell that for quick fixes though if you're not going to pull out a toothbrush and floss you're stuck with uh, the masking agents like a gum or uh, a quick rinse of mouthwash. Dr. Philip, thank you so much for joining us today on Busy, Smart, and Strong. Thank you. It was a pleasure.